Guys, welcome back to video number 50. Can you believe it? We made it to video number 50. So give yourselves all a big pat on the back. Okay, so in the last video, we created our query and we ran an if-else statement. So in this video, let's go ahead and conclude our query by running it. So let's go to our new underscore info.php page and let's go ahead and try to insert or create, insert MySQL, um, a new row of information. We'll just call this random. And I want to set this to position of four and let's add it and let's keep our fingers crossed that it's going to show up right here underneath services. And it does not. So let's go ahead and go back and see where we made a mistake. And I think it was because I didn't click visible. I want this to be visible. So let's go ahead and try it again. And please show up right here, abracadabra. And it didn't even redirect us to our content.php page. Okay, I'm going to pause this video. All right, guys, I found the first problem. I went to the wrong page. I wasn't on create underscore info. I was on a different one of our pages that we created. So this spit back our else statement, info create failed big time. Okay, so let me go up back and fix. It's probably the header inside the if statement. So, one second. Welcome back. Well, I got bad news. Um, this is taking me a little bit longer and I gotta go take off right now. I gotta run an errand, but at least we know our if else statement works. And in the next video, I will, uh, it's gotta be just like a semicolon or a, a parentheses or a brace or something. But anyways, I'm sorry to end the video like this, but uh, hopefully you guys are still following along. In the next video, we'll go ahead and solve this problem. All right, guys, good luck.